SABC News reporter Abongile Dumako is outside the Mlangini home in Dube, Soweto. Thanks very much, Abongile. Uh, are you seeing a steady flow of visitors coming through to pay their respects? Certainly. Good afternoon, Nombu. Uh, locals and, of course, some prominent figures of seen come here at this uh, uh, Mlangini house here in Dube, Soweto to pay their respect. Among them is Professor Shengi Mkize, who is, of course, the chairperson of the Andrew Mlangini Foundation, having, having been part and parcel of his journey, uh, you know, for the last couple of years since he's taken the throne of being the chairperson of that foundation. She actually came along uh, to say as well farewell the, to, to the hero. Of course, as you've been saying throughout the morning, Nombu, uh, a lot uh, of, uh, you know, tributes coming in through to to the Mlangin family following the passing on of Udada uh, Mlangin from across the world. And of course, we've been spending the morning, that part of this morning and this afternoon now, uh, to actually get a sense of what is really happening here in, 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 in his Soweto home. We've seen the neighbors coming, coming in, you know, helping out with some chores, including uh, cooking for the guests that continue to come. One of them whom we've seen here since we got here is his nephew. That is now Lucas Lidwabo. Lucas, thank you so much for your time. Good afternoon, my brother. Good afternoon. I've seen you since when we got here this morning. You've been up and down busy. As you were telling me earlier on, you feel a bit tired. He must have meant a lot to you. No, absolutely. Um, I mean, I think it's the smallest thing that I can do, representing his, you know, his spirit of servitude leadership. So uh, what I'm doing, I mean, it's, it's what we've learned from him, um, to always serve, to always stand up. Um, personally for me, um, was to come in and really, you know, see the reality thereof, um, of which yeah, I think it's slowly creeping in. <laughs> um, but yeah, there isn't uh, much that one can cry about. Um, except to be joyous about his, his life. We've had the fortune of spending geez, so many years with him. Um, not many people have that. Uh, most they see him in the news, they see him in parliament, that you understand. Mm. For us it's been a journey of uh, having not just a grandfather, not just an uncle, not just, uh, you know, but someone that I personally can say we're, we're very close from a lot of things. I mean, we had our um, jokes, um, I mean, I'm in IT and, uh, you know, even at 95, he was telling me what to do on a computer. Um, so, yeah, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's an awesome man. Um, he's a great leader. Uh, he's, a, he's a great uncle. He's a great father. Another thing that, uh, uh, Lucas, that stands out that we've been hearing quite a lot from the people we've been speaking to and that you continue to speak to about him is that he had a, a good sense of humor. One or two things that you, when you think back, I've, I've just said you know, mentioning that he would even go as far as telling you what to do on a computer at 95. What are some of the good memories that you have of him? Yeah, there's a, there was a one laptop that got donated, so I would say lo collected it. So as we were busy in the house, I think it was uh, late last year, we were busy in the house and the one that he was using he was not happy with. And then he's like, hey, you know what, let's call Celeste in Cape Town. That guy, you might find that he's gone with my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, those, those, those uh, short jokes that you'd get. Uh, I mean, that uh, the same, I think it was the 26th of December, I actually came to just see him and spend a day with him. Um, the next thing, we were busy fixing stuff because he had to prepare his minutes and all of these things, that he, his speeches that he normally would share with people. Um, all of a sudden, I'm working. Um, they prepare biscuits and drinks for me. <laughs> um, after that, I was like, no, I need to leave. And he's like, yeah, it's Amaya. And I was like, but dude, I came to sit with you. <laughs> and now you took me to go work. Yes, and now I need to rush, you know. Um, but yeah, he was, uh, he was uh, a man full of jokes, uh, full of laughter, full of love. Lucas Lutaba, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, sir. Nambu, there you have it. Quite a lot to say about it at the end of But because... Uh, it's one of those things that when you look back, especially as he's telling us here, that he cannot not just but just laugh at his jokes, at him being the person that he was, you know, as far as entertaining them is concerned as the family. With that respect to you, Nambu in Auckland Park. Thanks very much, Abongile, for that report.